Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm so, so sorry that I've been absent for the past week or so. Uh, we've been having such a mild winter. We thought we were going to get out of it pretty easy, but turns out, nope. We got freezing rain this week. I think there was something like 10 centimeters of snowfall on Sunday, and along with the cold weather came a cold, so I am just getting over it. I was pretty much incapacitated for the past uh, week and a half. Um, you guys probably caught the, the start of it in my last video. I noticed I was sniffling a lot and I still might sniffle a little bit today. Today's my first day off of cold meds, but hopefully we'll get through this, um, without being too gross in that kind of matter. So, uh, today I wanted to film for you guys another Ipsy bag unbagging. I got my Ipsy bag in the mail yesterday. Quick disclaimer, uh, normally I tell you guys that I've been super good every month, that I haven't looked at my sneak peeks, that I have no idea what's coming in my bag, and that was true up until about a half an hour ago. Um, apparently I did not update my YouTube app on my iPad, and so I had already literally filmed this entire video, and I had one more product left to show you guys, and it crashed. And I was super upset because I lost everything. So then I did it again. And I actually got to the point where I had shown that last product. And I was doing my outro and it crashed again. So I did the update. I took a break because I was getting really frustrated with it. So hopefully in that time I have remedied the problem. And we can get all the way through this video without my iPad crashing again. So having said that, I have seen the Ipsy bag. I've seen everything that I'm getting in it. But... I still want to share it all with you guys. I want to hear what you guys got in your Ipsy bags. Um, I was thinking if you guys do get different stuff that I do or whatever and you put up a video of your own, link it down below and I'll definitely go check it out. Or let me know what else you got in your Ipsy bag. Maybe you got something in a different shade. Um, I want to hear from you guys. I love getting comments from you guys and this video seemed to be one of my more... Um, popular ones uh, last month so I'm really excited to do another one. Now if you did watch my January Ipsy unbagging then you guys all know that I wanted to do something a little different than other YouTubers and I like to start off by doing a quick review of all of the products that I got in last month's Ipsy bag. So we're going to do that first. Uh, you guys seem to respond really well to it so I'm going to try for that again. So again the bag, I loved the bag. Um, this was a much bigger hit with me than the like pinky kind of bag that I got for December was not my thing at all. This super right up my alley. I love blue. It's my favorite color. I'm kind of more of a tomboy who likes makeup, but um, I'm much more down for like the, the more subdued kind of things, not so much into the hot pink. So the first thing that came in last month's Ipsy bag were these Love Recipe face masks. Now, as you can tell, um, I have only tried one of them so far. I was going to try this one before this video, but as you can maybe see right there, uh, this lovely little thing showed up on my face. It is a cold sore, and if you don't know anything about them, once you get it for 10 days, uh, it is super, super contagious, both to other people and to yourself. I haven't been able to kiss my boyfriend in 10 days. Pretty much the day it happened, I was like, guess what, you're getting a break, eat as much chocolate as you want, because you can't kiss me anyways for the next 10 days. Um, and also within myself, if I were to wear a lipstick and touch that area and maybe drag it across the other side of my lip, another one could pop up over here. Same thing if I, you know, were using a fat a face mask or something and I, you know, cross-contaminated any of that stuff. They spread super, super easily. Uh, if you've never had one, be thankful. Once you get it once, you'll get it for the rest of your life. But because of that, I haven't tried out the other one. But I can talk to you guys about this one. So I tried the Acai Berry Mask, and this one is to keep skin radiant and firm. This one is more for um, moisturizing and smoothing skin. Now... This worked. It did everything that it promised me it was going to do. It also, you know, didn't irritate my face at all, which was great because I have mentioned a couple times I have super, super sensitive skin. Um, it didn't give me any problem like that. However, I did not realize um, during my unbagging that these are sheet masks. I have never tried a sheet mask before and I'm not quite sure it's my thing. Like, I don't think it's my cup of tea. Um... I have really, really, like, big... I can't wear turtlenecks. I don't like the idea of being, like, constricted in any way. Um, and when I had it on, I just felt kind of like the man in the iron mask. Um, you know, because it's not... It's kind of like a one-size-fits-all. It's not really fitting my face properly. It sits funny. The whole time, I kind of wanted to claw it off my face. Um, 
let me know if you guys have experienced that. Maybe it's something that like kind of gets easier over time. I am still going to try this one out just to see if it's sort of just like a first time year, a time, time year, first timer kind of thing. But yeah, other than that, if you guys like sheet masks, highly, highly recommend these. Um, if you never tried them before, maybe you're like me, give it a shot. You might like it more than I do. I will try this one out and hopefully, uh, we'll start feeling a little bit better about them. But other than that, I'm going to stick mainly to, uh, you know, the, the just like lotion-y kind of uh, face mask. So the next thing that had come in this bag, I talked about in my January monthly favorites, and it is this liquid uh, matte lipstick, liquid to matte lipstick from Colored Rain in the shade Mars. It's this beautiful, like nude pink color. I've raved about this. That's actually it right there. It doesn't come off. You can see, like I said, I'd filmed this video before and uh, this watch wouldn't come off. But that's just it right there. It does have a little bit more of like a pinky sort of undertone uh, for a nude. As you guys can see also, the wand is super thin, um, which is really great for kind of like lining your lip first and then filling it in. Uh, sorry, I got it all over the uh, cap. It's super pigmented, it goes on really great. Um, it's not drying at all, which is great because a lot of liquid to matte lipsticks kind of make your lips crack and they look horrible but it wear, it's long wearing, it wears all day long, beautiful color. The one thing that I will say is that in terms of like other liquid to matte lipsticks I've tried out, this one does take a little bit longer to fully mattify. Not a big deal, just something to be aware of. Make sure that you actually give it time to fully set before, um, you know, eating, drinking, all that kind of stuff, touching up, because it does take a little bit longer. I love this so much. I've actually been eyeing a couple of other shades on their website, so you might be seeing a colored rain haul in the near future. And the next thing that came in the bag was a Pretty Woman nail polish. I feel like the shade name was I Can't Deal. I know I ranted about it a little bit because um, the shade name's not on the bottle anywhere. It was on the box, which I threw out. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's the shade name. It's this really pretty, like, gray color. It is super opaque. I feel like if you were in a rush, you could probably get away with only doing one coat. I did too. Now, I will show you guys. My nails are horrendous. Like, my nail beds are bad. Um, I've got, like, all of those, like, hang nail, like, bleh, whatever. Um, I do bite my nails quite frequently. I have really bad anxiety when my nerves kind of strike up really bad. I chew, I chew, I chew. I can't help myself. Um... But I did wear this a couple times. Um, I really liked the color. It was really easy to apply. It dried up pretty quick, I would say. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, and this might just be because I'm not very careful when I do have my nails painted, is that it did chip on me quite a bit, but I've genuinely found that with most nail polishes that I try, they will chip within the first 24 hours. So that might just be a me thing. But if you got this, or I think the other shade was something about a ballerina, it was like a pinky kind of shade. If you got either of them and you tried them and you kind of experienced the same chipping that I did, let me know. But if not, I mean, if you're more careful with a manicure than I am, I highly, highly recommend these. Um, you know, they go on really, really well. And like I said, they dry quick and the color was just beautiful. So the next thing that I got, probably like other than this, my second favorite thing in the bag was this Model Co. blush in the shade Peach Bellini. So this is super, super soft. Um, it looks just like that. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, which is kind of nice because you could probably get away without using um, a highlight if you were in a rush. Looks like that. Super pigmented. These wear all day long. Um, I keep finding myself reaching for this more and more and more. There's actually another girl at my work who also gets Ipsy bags, and she got the same one in the same shade, and she was just as obsessed with it as I was. And we actually went to the Model Co. website to see what else they kind of had, and apparently there's only like two other shades. So Model Co., your blushes are amazing, but you need to get more shades going. Um, because I will definitely pick up more. So that's it there. I absolutely loved it. And the last thing that came in the bag, and I think I said I wasn't too sure about this when I got it, is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. And mine is in the shade Light. Now, um, I didn't know that I would get much use out of it, but I love this product. I kind of um, put my moisturizer on all over my face, and then I put on my Max Strobe Cream, let that dry down a bit, and then I like to take this and I just sort of uh, put it on, you know, top, sort of my chin, my forehead, and then a little bit on my cheeks. And I, I just kind of, 
you know, obviously blend it in. It's a cream. What else are you going to do with it? Just leave it. But I'm um, sorry. So I think that it just sort of creates more of a flawless cam canvas. It kind of evens out my skin tone a little bit more than it already is. That's just it right there. It is a little bit more yellow tone than I think my actual skin is. But genuinely, it hasn't seemed to have been a problem because um, I do put it on and then I kind of put on my concealer and my blush and my bronzer on afterwards anyway. So it kind of like masks it if the color was really that bad in the first place. Um, I've been using this more and more, especially lately. I'm getting some breakout and I find it just helps like tone it down a little bit more. Um, as soon as I'm done this sample size, I am planning on going and picking up the full size one. I'm going to check if there's a shade better for me. And if not, like I said, this light shade seems to be working so I can just keep going with that. So that was everything that I got in last month's bag. Now we're going to talk about this month's bag. Normally this is the point at which I would pull it out of the envelope, but I already did that. I've literally seen everything in this bag, but I'm still going to share it with you guys because I want to know what you guys got and what you guys think about this stuff. So the theme this month was hashtag Ipsy much love and it kind of came with like the little cell phone -y thing and it talks about like, oh, I got my glam bag. Well, then why are you talking to me? Go and open it sort of thing. I'm not going to read it. It's insignificant to actually what's in the bag. The bag this month. Another hit for me. It's this sort of dark denim color with this neon orange piping detail. The zipper is neon orange. And how cute is this? Like the little zipper pull is like these little, little like orange lips. Super, super cute. I love this. Actually, my two favorite colors are blue and orange. Um, I love them together. You know, they're complementary colors. And even like the inside of the bag is this neon orange. So I love this bag. So the first thing in here, again, I've seen this all, but I'm still going to show you guys, um, is this Brio Gio uh, Rosarco Blow Dry Protection and Heat Protectant Cream. So basically, you just take some um, and you apply it into damp hair from your roots to your tips, and then you um, blow dry your hair and style it as desired, and it sort of protects it from frizz, from heat damage. It's supposed to prevent split ends caused by heat damage. You guys all know I've talked about it a million times. I have super straight hair. It, it's not so straight right now, and I will be honest, because I showered last night, and then I slept on my wet hair, and I didn't brush it. And when that happens, it gets kind of, like, kinky weird. But I can sort of, like, as long as I can manage the top part, the bottom kind of just falls fine. But you guys can already see, like, there's pieces. Like, this dark piece is already pretty much straight. Um... But I do, you know, especially when I'm in a rush and I shower in the day, I blow dry my hair and it blow dries super straight. Probably straighter than almost like a straightening iron would do for me, just with a little more volume. So this stuff is perfect for me. Uh, I have smelled it already. It kind of just smells like any other hair product you'd find in a salon. It's really nice. It's kind of like a florally thing. Super excited to try this out. I used to use the Tresemme, um, like, I'm doing this like a, like, you know what I'm talking about, like the heat spray. Um... And it works, but I do find that it gives my hair like a weird kind of a texture. Um, so I'm hoping that this will maybe not do that as much and kind of keep my hair soft and natural instead. So the next thing that was in here that I was really excited to see is this NYX Butter Lipstick. And it is in the shade Lifeguard. It's this, you guys all know I've talked about it again a million times. I love a red lipstick. It's this really pretty red color um, right up my alley just looks like that. Now I do normally go for a more matte lipstick, but I mean, this also isn't super, super glossy. So it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's probably pretty moisturizing. It feels like it might be. So I'm super excited to give this a try. I'm always looking for alternatives for red lipsticks. Um, I have so many MAC ones, but I'm always looking for other brands to see if maybe like I can find a similar shade especially maybe one that's cheaper. I don't know how expensive these are. They actually just put in a NYX store in my mall in my, not my city, but the city uh, one over from me. It's about like 10 minutes from my house. And every time I walk by, I'm like, oh, I should go in there and see what they have. But I know that if I go in there, I'm going to spend a ton of money, but I think it's going to happen soon. My self-control is starting to wane. So super excited to get this. If I like it, maybe I'll check out what other shades that they have. The next thing that I got was this, I don't know if it's Ibby Beauty or IBY Beauty. I'm not too sure, but it is a highlighter and it's in the shade Bubbly. And see, the nice thing about that I had to refilm this video is you guys got to miss my epic struggle with all the packaging that I'm so well known for. So this is the color. It's kind of this like 
peachy, pinky, champagne-y, I don't even know how to describe it, kind of a color. It is really, really soft. It looks like that. Can you see? Can you see it? And I'm going to put it right there. So it is like, okay, there we go. I put it at the worst angle. So it's a really pretty highlight. It's super soft. It is a little bit lighter, which is kind of nice for my skin tone. Um, because I'm so fair, it'll work really well for me. I can kind of just blend it out nice if I'm looking for more of a subtle highlight than like a crazy like in your face highlight. Super excited to try this. Again, I've never tried this brand before, so I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing if I like it and maybe picking up more from them. If you guys have any recommendations of like stuff that I should definitely try from NYX or like IBY or maybe whatever this beauty thing is, definitely let me know down below. Um, I've said it before, I'm really looking to expand my horizons as far as makeup goes and I'm always looking for really good recommendations on what products to try out of certain brands. The next thing I got, I was super excited to see. It is this Naked Cosmetics, um, what's this called? HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, it was either this one or another one with the same name, like the same shade name, but that Jessica Braun was raving about on her channel that she loves it. Um, I've never really tried any loose, like, finishing powders like this. It is just this, like, banana-y, like a light banana yellow color. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of peeling back some of the packaging to kind of show you guys this stuff. Just jump a little. Yeah, so it just looks like that. And, you know, it'll blend out a little bit yellow, but n nothing that, you know, can't be blended out and hidden. Um, I have never baked before, and I also am just kind of, like, really starting to understand how to uh, set under eye makeup and, like, contouring and highlighting is uh, also pretty new to me. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, if it works for me, maybe this will be an alternative to what I've been using. I have been using Max. Um, it's like their uh, translucent setting powder. I do use the pressed one though. I haven't used a loose one yet. So I'm super excited to see how that works out for me. And the last thing in this bag, I actually didn't know what this was the first time I opened the bag because it doesn't say anywhere on here. Although now that I'm seeing it this right here this French it might mean varnish which would make sense because it's nail polish so it's from Trust Fund Beauty and I'm pretty sure the shade name is $12 Latte and it is full size and it is just this kind of like brown sort of gray I don't really know how to describe this color it is a darker color um, and it looks pretty opaque I'm not going to do that thing I did last time where I painted it on a one nail just because I have to go to work and I don't really want to try and explain to people why I've done that. And I also don't feel like painting my nails right now. But um, I love darker colors, uh, more neutral colors, especially in the winter. Uh, so that, if it's good, um, I'm really excited for. And you guys will hear if it's any good or not uh, in my next month's Ipsy Unbagging. So uh, that's it. That's all that was in my bag. I'm honestly really, really happy about everything that came in my bag this, this month. Um... You know, I think it's a good variety of stuff, like a highlighter, a lipstick, some hair product, a nail polish. I think for me, if I wasn't getting nail polishes, it wouldn't upset me that much because I don't really paint my nails that often. But, I mean, I don't mind having them. And worst comes to worst, if I really don't end up getting a use out of them, I'm sure I can find somebody that will. Um, so that was everything in my Ipsy bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, and keep your eyes out because... I will be, within the next couple days, I'm probably going to film it as soon as I'm done this video, be putting up the Mac haul that I have been talking about probably for about like a month right now. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will check you guys later.